Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel. This is going to be secrets revealed from your love interest, excuse me. And we're going to look at things that your love interest may have not said to you, maybe keeping to themselves. Also things that spirit just wants to reveal in regards to this person that you may have not known. So we're going to get into some things. Um, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Crystal. This is Mystical Crystal Tarot. We get into tarot readings and some things. So if you're interested in seeing my future videos, please make sure you subscribe and make sure you guys thumbs up the video. When you guys like the video, it lets the algorithm know you want to see future videos from me. So if you want to get notified, you got to like the video. Okay. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. Keep in mind, this is general. So if you do want a personal reading, my information will be below. I offer 20% off opportunities to all my new clients. If you join our emailing list or you take our Zodiac quiz, you can receive 20% off. So definitely make sure you take advantage of that. Everything will be below. Alrighty. So reveal the secrets that my Sagittarius may need to know about their love interest. Oh, I already see right off the bat, this person has abandonment issues. All right, let's, let's get into some things. Also, try not to, um, and this is for some people, please try not to like bash any other Zodiac sign or, you know, bash whoever you're dealing with in the comment section because we try to keep the channel over here positive, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So, First thing I got was abandonment issues. Um, this person as a child may have gotten abandoned. As a child, this person may have been abandoned, whether this is by like people in their family. May have even had to live with like a grandmother or something like that. As a child. Some of you, this is more of like abandonment as far as like emotional abandonment. Like they may have had their parents, but they really didn't get the emotional love or care that they really needed. And people don't understand the severity of children not getting that. <laughs> they grow up into being adults who seek validation elsewhere. So this person, it looks like they haven't really had that proper love and nurturing that they deserve because of, like I said, circumstances prior to you and situations that arose. Um, I really get this energy as well. Um, see this person, they have like this defense mechanism where if things get too rough for them, because they have that abandonment issue, they may like to just run. So if you've gotten ghosted recently, by your love interest, this is why. It's because they've basically been abandoned in their past. So they kind of take this route of abandoning other people whenever they have some sort of um, issue with coping with the problems in the connection. So this is a coping mechanism for this person. Um, ooh. Okay, so another thing I am seeing as well, uh, I get this energy... Mm, where this person is like trying to really find a sense of like self-love and getting in touch with themselves emotionally because like I said, they may have not had that love themselves and they understand that they now have to kind of pick up where other people left off. Even if they don't even subconsciously realize that this is going on, they like internally know that they have to kind of be their own backbone. They're the, they're like that type of person where it's like, oh yeah, I'm good. I don't need anyone. Like they like to have that attitude because they don't want to feel like they need anyone. Like that's the worst thing for anybody who's been abandoned or feels abandoned to feel like they need anyone else. Okay. For a lot of you, what they're not saying, 
um, what they've been keeping to themselves. If this is somebody who you've been sticking beside for a very, very long time, Sagittarius, this person really appreciates the fact that you would stick by their side, even when they, you know, may not be at the place in their life where they feel like they're comfortable. This may be somebody who's still trying to find themselves, like I said. So they may be appreciative of the fact that you're still sticking by them, especially if this person was not all the way honest to um, in the beginning or just at any point. Okay. And that's for my people who've already dealt with the whole deceit and, you know, having questions in regards to whether or not this person is an honest person. Um, I also get this energy, um, where this person, okay, this is something that spirit wants to say. This person is experiencing a level of karma. So again, karma is not like a good or bad thing, but karma is just what it sounds like setting, setting the scales balanced or setting the scales in alignment or whatever you guys get what I'm trying to say, making the scales balance. Okay. And this person is going through karmic situations as of right now. So certain things that are taking place are really out of you and this person's control because karmically there's lessons, there's things that are being put in this person's path for them to get more insight on like their, how do I say this? The way that they've been acting, the way that they've been doing certain things so that they can reshift their focus and the way that they handle situations. So a lot of things are going to come up that are out of really both of you guys' control. Like, <clears throat> hmm. If this is somebody who you're married to and you guys are like having a relationship that's slightly on the rocks, like uh, you guys are pretty much headed to divorce. This person really doesn't want to divorce. For some of you, you may have like an a-hole as a love interest. I'm going to just be honest with you. Um, and this is specifically for some people. If you're married and you're like on the brink of a divorce, this person may not want to get divorced because financially they may feel as if that's going to really eat at them. So... Yeah, I had to say that as well. But that's only for a small set of few people with that comment. Um, okay, this is something that I heard for people who want to move in with this person. If you recently proposed to this individual that you want to possibly move in with them, they're really scared that financially they will not be able to hold up their weight. So that may be why they're kind of holding back. It may not be a situation where they don't want to. It's just if they don't feel like financially they can support the relationship and that they may be a burden in the future, they're really trying to hold off on that. Also, for some of you, when they were in serious relationships in their past, like if this person did live with another person before and it was somebody romantic, they may have dealt with the pressure of feeling as if like they were, you know, kind of a burden. That's why they're having this thought process because they may have tried the whole moving out thing. And then they experience this energy of like maybe losing their job or not, you know, making enough to make ends meet. And then it just backfired. So they may have that paranoia as well. Okay. For a lot of you, this is something that they're not saying. They really want you to be a part of their journey. If you guys like recently split up or stopped talking for like a month's time span, this person is like really having a level of anxiety in regards to not having you a part of their journey, especially if this is like a childhood like sweetheart or like high school sweetheart or something like that. They don't want you to not be a part of their journey. Um... And they feel like it's getting to that point to where you're you're pretty much like fed up with them to where you may not want to deal with them anymore. Interesting. Whew. 
Ooh, okay. But this reading was a lot. I hope I was able to give you insight on what this person, you know, isn't really saying is keeping to themselves or what the universe needed me to convey. If you did enjoy, please make sure you subscribe. Make sure you guys like this video. If you do want your own personal session, like I said, please check out my description box. All my information to book me will be listed there as well as the opportunities to earn 20% off if you are a new client. Okay. Um, and the Zodiac quiz for Sagittarius as well. Thank you. And I will talk to you in the next one.